So we're just about to board the boat to go over to Skellig Michael. It's a fascinating place, 600 steps up to this ancient monastery, which on top of there is where the St. Michael and Apollo line passes through. It's also where the Apollo and Athena energy currents meet. So we're gonna go up there and we're gonna douse and we're gonna try and find where this is, really get a sense of the sacred up there to see what, see what we can find. And even the huts look like they're something different. They're not just monastic huts. They could be something much more ancient. So let's go and take a look on a very treacherous boat ride. So we made it up onto Skellig Michael, amazing, that was one hell of a boat ride. Uh, it felt like uh, it was the perfect storm brewing then. So I'm grateful to be here, just making our way up the steps, 600 of them all the way to the top before we see the stone beehive huts. As you can see behind me, we're in the middle of the ocean, it's amazing. Those that have come before us. Okay, so we're just going up the first of the 600 steps on Skellig Michael. It's going to be quite a climb. is amazing in here. Um, maybe this is where the Apollo and Athena lines go. I'm not sure. We're going to do some dowsing, see if we can find exactly where they are. But just by walking straight in here, immediately I felt this sense of peace and serenity. So I can understand why the monks chose this particular spot to put their amazing beehive huts where they were meditating every day. Cutting across, and Athena seems to be running down through the line of beehive huts. Oh, okay. So I'll get up that one, the chamber next door. It just went in there, it blew me away. The energy was like, whoa. Yeah. And it hit me for six just in there. So maybe we should check that for dowsing. Yeah, sure. See what we can find. Yeah. So 
just on the hunt for the Apollo and Athena currents. Glenn seems to have picked them up already, so we're going to go into the chamber I was just in and see if there's anything in there because the energy in there was incredible. So perhaps that could be why they chose this as a place, well, a monastic center to meditate and pray. So let's go and check it out. Here we go. Spiraling round in the centre. Yeah. I think in order to check the currents, I'm going to have to go outside and check from outside because inside it's all swirling round. through which is amazing it used to be that they ran side by side and then they started spiraling together and just like in, in Glastonbury tour uh, Michael and Mary come and wrap around one another on the tour but actually only cross once down on the side side so they run together and do some amazing things but don't overlap Tells me that's what's happening in here. You know, at Newgrange, we saw those spirals, and she described them as a double spiral because it spirals in but spirals out. I wonder if that's what they're doing. So I've made my way into one of the other chambers and here we had the Apollo and the Athena lines moving through them. Glenn and Cameron Broughton have been do doing some dowsing here and it's just crazy energy but there's a real serenity, a real beauty. All these chambers seem to have this. Um, it really feels undisturbed and I guess that this could have been a site around even before the monks got here perhaps. There are little bits of evidence of megalithic construction just at the backs of some of the chambers, but that could be the bedrock. So I'm not really sure about that, but it's definitely worth checking out. pretty difficult to build. If you've got Jim Vieira or any other stonemason here they would tell you this is a tricky one to build. They've done it beautifully. It's beautifully put together. It's really neat and tidy stonework. They've aligned it really accurately. They've got this beautiful corbelled roof and these have not been reconstructed apparently so even the monks or maybe it was people who came before them whoever built this had a real mastery of working with stone, so it could be a remnant of the more pagan cultures of Ireland when they first came over here. It's 
beautiful, absolutely beautiful, beautiful place.